With today's components becoming lighter and lighter, such as the use of carbon fiber, it's important not to over-tighten bolts, which could lead to costly damage. Hi, I'm Tony with Tony 10 Speed. We're going to talk about different torque wrenches. I'll show you the different types, how to use them, and then at the end, especially important, how to prepare the bolt or part that you're working on. Let's take a look. In my shop, we use two types of torque wrenches. A long arm torque wrench with a movable metal needle that will read in foot pounds for certain bottom brackets. And a smaller one, this one happens to come from Nash Bar, where you just turn the handle to the desired torque that you want in Newton meters and it will click when it reaches that specific torque. Most of today's newer components have the torque directly stamped on it. This one reads 12 Newton meters for the fasteners or bolts of the headset. This is a maximum and we should try to shoot for about 80%, that is 20% below the maximum to prevent any breakage. If you don't have the component stamped with the torque, you'll need to look that up on the manufacturer's website or ask your bike dealer. For this particular bottom bracket, which our references suggest should be approximately 300 foot-pounds. We'll use our long arm torque wrench. We'll go ahead and snap on an 8 millimeter adapter, place it into the bolt, push down on both the pedal and the torque wrench until the needle gets up to approximately 300 foot-pounds. On the smaller bolts, I'll use my click torque wrench this one measures in newton meters. I know from the specs that the bolt that holds this particular non-carbon uh, bar ranges from 4.5 to about 6.8. So I've set the wrench by turning the handle to just below 6. Nice in-between range. I engage it and I turn it and as soon as I hear a click I feel it and hear it I immediately stop and know I'm at the correct torque. In many cases it's also important to prep the components that we're putting together before we go ahead and tighten any bolts that attach them. When putting on a new component or changing a component, it's very important to know how to prepare the particular fastener prior to torquing. Most will require a thin layer of grease to prevent corrosion and seizing. Some will require something to lock the threads, such as Loctite. Others go on dry. The reason this is important is that if we use any type of prep on one fastener that's supposed to be dry, too much torque may be transferred to the clamp we're using or the frame causing breakage and damage. So consult the, either the insert of the component or the manufacturer's website. Carbon fiber assembly compounds contain small silicon particles that compress as you tighten allowing you to torque to a lower range than otherwise required, that is 20% lower than the maximum or in the middle of the torque range. Prior to torquing, coat all the contact surfaces with the fiber assembly compound. A cautionary note, this applies to carbon fiber steers only. Do not use a carbon assembly paste. The paste can make its way up into the headset, which is constantly moving, and cause excessive wear. For more information on prep of either the fastener or the specific components, such as the seat tube or steering tube, take a look at the reference in the description below this video. Watch for more upcoming videos on essential tools. Thank you and safe riding.